Ah, oh, hello boys. My voice is pretty croaky, but forgive me. Today, I want to go over a Zeal Amazon. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, and I finally kind of knuckled down and, and, and did it. I've been working on it between streams. Um, it's a lot tankier than I thought, and it's pretty. It's a pretty good use case of, of passion compared to the other Zeal options and, and the other characters. So, you boys know I fucking love this rune word so much. The Passion Scourge. So, we've got that on our Amazon. And I'll go through and I'll show you what we have and how it kind of works. Stat skills, gear, and then, you know, um, Zeal's on. Alright, so, strength, we only need up to 156 for Monarch. We don't need anything else, that is it. You can put Enigma on this, but I wouldn't recommend it. We're using Fortitude for that max damage. So, we'll go through some movement speed options later on. Dexterity, it is fine at 120. We we really have enough ways to, to land our hits. Our attack rating is not too crazy, but remember we do have access to slow missiles and inner sight. So we can use those on occasion depending which you know groups we're we're kinda attacking with this build. So you yes you can put more in there, but I think it is fine for now. Another good option is you could change out your gloves for something like Lava Gauss, and that would give you a small enchant buff, so an attack rating percent on top, or you can switch Demon Limb as well. Either one, but I felt mine is okay. So everything left is into Vitality, you can see my life is only just over 2000, it's not too crazy, but this build is quite tanky, particularly with the Zon passive skills, as we'll get to in a moment. Energy is nothing, and resistances are kind of whatever, right? Skills! Javelin Spear Skills, nada, nothing, zip, zilch, bow and crossbow, piss all, except enough to get multi-shot, okay? Passive and Magic Skills is going to be everything else, so Critical Strike is maxed, Penetrate is maxed for attack rating percent, one into Pierce, we want one into Inner Sight, one into Slow Missiles, you can, again, you can put these a bit higher if you'd like to, because Dodge, Avoid and Evade have severe diminishing returns, Okay, so I only went up to about base 9, and then I thought, bugger it, I'll pump out these two, because when I'm standing still and attacking, I'm going to be dodging and avoiding more than evade, I would say. Now, decoy is one to get us to Valkyrie, which we've maxed out. Okay, so we can resummon our Valkyrie more. I, I, I reckon I'd just resummon it instead of dumping 20 points into decoy and let it last longer. Like, I don't see much point in doing that. Um, let me know if you boys do different, but yeah, so dodge, avoid, and evade is amazing. You've got 71% crit strike, which remember it functions exactly the same as deadly strike, so if you have both, the game will roll for both, okay, and then it will take one, and then ignore the other one if one happens, but let's get into the gear, okay. So, we're using a Passion and a Scourge, you've seen this base before, it does decent damage, we want high ED, high bonus attack rating, that's all that really rolls on it, okay? So, we're going to be using Zeal as our main attack, as you can see in our damage, without our Mercenary yet, is, is over 3000. Not too bad, right? With our current setup, we're hitting at 3.3 attacks per second with our Zeal. Now, Berserk is just under 4000, so we're going to be using this for immunes wow to no surprise right because we have access to dodge avoid evade by nuking our defenses with berserk is actually kind of fine like i, I found i didn't really I, I didn't really see any negatives of it they'll only just slot it in and complemented the build more so zeal and berserk both from passion functions amazingly well for our helm we've got g face with you know some just some classic ed in there you can put some extra attack speed if you want you can also put a cham in there if it cannot be frozen and free that up but well i'll leave that in there for now just for more damage high lords plus one attack speed deadly strike we've got fortitude for ed laying of hands for ed to demons we've got a string of ears we've got just a, a a crazy little slot ring but to give you an example of what options could be out there for a crazy ring okay we don't even need these we don't even need everything on there okay Raven Frost, we've got Gore Riders, and the Phoenix Shield is where we're getting the big enhanced damage, and the Redemption is helping a lot with our survivability. Alright? On Switch, we have a low base hustle. This is because I don't want to put excess points into dexterity or strength to wield something that's elite. We're not using it to kill enemies. We don't need the high 
damage on it. We're only using this to proc burst of speed. So, the burst of speed is going to bump our zeal attacks per second up to 3.9, and that's going to help us slam away even more. Okay? Now, for the rest of these charms, we have Zon, Torch, Nihilus, we've got Life and All Res, and we've just, just smashed out attack damage charms with a bit of hit recovery. That's about it, boys. Okay? You could go passive magic skills, but I don't really see the point. Like, most of these have severe diminishing returns, asides like in a site keeps stacking up pretty high, but yeah, they, they all have severe diminishing returns. So I would save that and just go attack damage charms, okay? Mercenary is your classic best in slot melee setup. So Might Aura, Treachery, G Face with attack speed, and then Reaper's Toll with attack speed, okay? So that's gonna give us Decrepify. Now, I'm going to go straight in to Frigid Highlands, and then I'll come back and show you a couple of alternates for gear when we get in there. So, I'm going to throw out my Valkyrie. Thanks. Thanks. Let's go up here, in a sight. Use my multi-shot for a bit. Got my magic arrow on switch too. Let's get my burst of speed up. There we go. Burst of speed is good. Now we're good. So with the Mercenaries My Aura, we have over 4,000, pretty much 4,100 for Zeal, at 3.9 hits per second, Berserk is at 46. Slow Missiles is going to reduce incoming damage by 22%. We use that when we're getting in there when we're surrounded by mobs, that's going to help us, particularly with things like Slingers, you know, just ranged melee mobs that are such a pain, you pop those in there. You don't have to use Hustle on Switch. I was playing around with Anaja's Staff on Switch with like an Arax Belt to get slightly higher um, cast rate. That's why I have 10 FCR on a ring. Um, that worked okay to teleport around, but you boys know the, the Amazon cast rate frames are really kind of garbage, so use that at your own discretion. If you're going to be farming more regularly, you want to teleport with this, you can absolutely. Now, if we're not using Enigma and Cast Rate, like this build here, a few options we can do to switch is change out the belt for a Mavs, okay? Run Walk, Mana Steel, and then change out the Amulet for Cat's Eye, okay? That's going to give us a little bit more, and now we can go somewhere else. Where, where do you want to go, boys? Hey, let's try out Trav. Hmm? Hmm? Let's see how that goes. And then I reckon we'll bump up the play account and we'll go to, I don't know, we could go to Stony Tomb. How's that? That'll be all right. Why is the load screen garbage? I preloaded some of these acts, bro. So cringe. Yep. Let's hop in here. We'll get the mercenary back out. Seems to be doing a little bit more work. Get it. Yes. There you go, boys. Not too bad. If you don't mind putting a couple of extra points into the bow and crossbow tree, a slightly better option to proc hustle, if you're going that route, would be strafe. So you'd need one, two more points, and then three. To get there um i found that i proc it okay enough with magic arrow multi-shot is all right um but strafe would be your best option if you're going that route so let's bump this play account up i'll do it in screen so you guys can see it we'll go this down we'll do i don't know what do you reckon p6 um canyon of maggie hmm does that sound all right for you boys Load screen, three, two, one. There we go, first the speed is up. Let's 
slow missiles. Still reduces incoming damage, even if there's no boys in here with like range, you know, it's okay. Decent deal, decrepify is good. Blind's target is nice when you've got enemies surrounding you, it's okay. Um, the only hindrance of that on Passion is that it does override the Gripify, so it can be a little bit prune, but it's alright. This is Player 6, boys. Player 6, Canyon. So, it could get a bit messy in here, since we don't have the best AoE. We do have Berserk for some of the immune mobs. We've still got Mana Steel from Mad, so hopefully we'll do okay maintaining some of that Mana Drain. Magic Immunes, we use our Zeal. Physical Immunes, we use our Berserk. Just puts in work, boys. 4600 damage. Play is six. Like, this is more impressive than I thought it would be. It really is. Like, I just kind of threw it on. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta test a high end, you know, zeal mechanic on every character. But uh, I've found that each character has their own different complements to this type of, you know, face front melee build. It's quite enjoyable. Oh, I can't handle this big city, boys. It's not going well. There we go, Tom. We're stacked up on each other, we can be able to see them. Well, that's looking about it, boys. Probably not the best place to showcase his physical and, and bloody magic immune, but it's going alright. This is the Zeal Amazon. Don't go to high density areas with this. Please. Be responsible. Unlike me. Oh, bugger that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> oh, boys. I hope you enjoy this build. Um, I would recommend giving it a go. If you're keen to try out more different Zeal things, this uh, is pretty good pretty good so avoid high density areas okay make sure you have sufficient attack rating decent attack speed um and make sure you have decrepify on that mercenary setup so you can also get that from lawbring on the act 5 as well so i'll leave you with that see you boys <laughs>